Hi, I'm Dr. Wilbur Chen. I'm an infectious disease physician and faculty member of the Center for Vaccine Development and Global Health at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. This novel coronavirus uh, is uh, a coronavirus which is uh, a type of virus that we see circulating among humans, but we also know circulates among bats and other animals normally. And every so often some of these viruses emerge in humans because we have contact with some animals. And so in the past uh, there was SARS that arose in 2003. That was a coronavirus. And uh, in 2014, we had MERS, which is the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, which emerged in Saudi Arabia. Coronaviruses uh, spread just like a lot of other respiratory viruses. It's known as a wintertime virus, and I categorize it as one of the common cold viruses. So a lot of people encounter common cold uh, reactions during the winter time and coronaviruses are probably among the most common. It's about 15, 20, 30 percent of the time are coronaviruses, human coronaviruses that circulate every year, which is different from the novel coronavirus which just emerged. It is a respiratory virus, so what we're seeing is a lot of runny nose, cough, sore throat, fever associated with it. We're also seeing that some of these cases are unusual where they have diarrheal symptoms, so some abdominal cramping, loose stools, those sorts of things. But predominantly, it's a, it's a respiratory virus, so if you have coughing, difficulty breathing, and fever, those are the triggers for us to be very weary of this new virus. If you think you have this new virus, well, first of all, you would have to ask yourself, have you had contact with a person that uh, recently traveled from China, has an epidemiologic link to China, and perhaps has uh, this novel virus? So you have to have a linkage to a suspected case. Or did you yourself recently travel from China? Or did you have contact with a known case? So you'd have to ask yourself that, and then you'd have to ask yourself, am I experiencing fevers and or respiratory symptoms? And so if any of those cases uh, are what you are experiencing, then you should probably present yourself to your medical physician or an urgent care center. And especially if you're having difficulty breathing or cough, which means that you might have lower respiratory infection syndrome, uh, symptoms. The first thing you may want to do is to make sure that you've received your annual influenza vaccination. And then second of all, if you're concerned about this novel virus, is that we should all be uh, practicing common hygiene, which means that uh, you wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds, or you use alcohol uh, sanitation uh, for uh, hand sanitation and usually we ask for you to use those products that have 60% content of alcohol or higher. We also want you to, when you cough or sneeze, cough or sneeze into a tissue and then throw that tissue away. We also want you to try to uh, observe that if you're uh, ill yourself that you stay home uh, and keep yourself away and, uh, from transmitting the virus. Uh, what, what, whatever that virus is, if, if it's the common cold or influenza or the novel coronavirus. But also if you are uh, see other people that are ill that you uh, keep your distance from them because again this virus is being transmitted by what we call respiratory droplets which means a cough or a sneeze. So if you keep your distance you should be safe as well. These are probably the most common practices that we think would be highly effective in preventing this uh, disease from transmitting.